Triangle ABC has vertices with coordinates a negative 1 negative 1, b 4 comma 0, and c 0 comma 4. Prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle but not an equilateral triangle. The use of the set of axes below is optional. So I always encourage students to uh, draw out for themselves a visual representation of the problem just because it will help with the understanding. So I will model for you uh, doing just that. So A is negative 1, negative 1. B is 4, 0. So this is B. And C is 0, 4. And 0, 4 is over here. Whoops, no, that's 0, 3. So C is 0, 4. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and find the lengths of the sides. Okay. So AC, or let's start with AB. So AB, uh, to do that, we can use the distance formula, or we can just count using um, Pythagorean theorem. We'll use a different color here to demonstrate. So i will use red. So here we're going to uh, go over to see, 2, 4, 5, and up 1, right? So we're going to move over 5 units and up 1. So this is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to square root of 26. Going from B to C. So we're going to go 2, 4, and then we're going to go to 4. So square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared, and that is going to be square root of 32, which translates into 4 square root of 2. Because uh, 4 squared is 16, and 16 is divisible um, into 32. So, uh, we're, and then the last segment there is AC, and what we're going to do is we're going to go up 2, 4, 1. So we're going up 5 and over 1. So this is going to be, again, 5 squared plus 1 squared is equal to square root of 26. So here we can make the argument that AC is congruent to AB and not congruent to uh, BC. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle and not an equilateral triangle.